so before we get started on the interaction system and how you would integrate that into your game, I just thought we'd have a look at all the assets in total. So this is the clay pot asset where you get some clay pots. I mean, it, it is what it says on the tin. They look nice. There's low poly ones and uh, sort of nanite ones as well. Uh, if you put some geometry collisions on them, I can see them doing well. They are, is it hollow inside? Yeah, so that'll break quite nicely with a geometry collision. So we're going to grab <coughs> a pot from our pots. Just type in pot. We've got plenty. And we're going to grab pot 18. You're the lucky number. We're going to go over here, select fracture. We're going to select new fracture. And we're going to save it just wherever. It's going to put it in the nanite. That's fine. And it's going to create a geometry collision, which is what we need to break apart a pot. And then it's going to add it to this rest collection. Come down, click uniform, and we're going to be able to see if we fracture it. And then we can fracture. Uh, be careful selecting one that is a nanite pot. So then if we raise this up and we right click browse to asset, we'll go to this geometry collision and we just want the mass to be a high number. And untick mass as density. Click save. I don't know why my computer's going slow. And then we'll click and simulate physics. And there we go. Broken pot. Like a bull in a china shop. Sweet. And then we've got this sicker dynasty map, which we can float around in. Oh, look, there's some more pots in here. Pots galore. You get pots all the time. So many pots. Don't look in the sun, you'll go blind. Uh, that's an interesting fire effect. Probably yoink that for a fireball, honestly. So you're not going to be able to walk around in this one unless you bring a character in. Um, oh, look, more pots. Oh my god, we could have so many pots. So this one is just purely just a demo level. I've never been to any of the countries showcased in here, so I can't tell you how much of an accurate representation they are. Uh, but it looks, looks nice. Other than this weird fireball thing. Uh, oh, it's a magic vortex. It's not a, it's not a fire. It's a magic vortex. How oh, interesting. Barrel is always good. It's a see-through barrel as well, so we can add a geometry collision to that to break it, just like we've done with our pot. And yeah, I mean, it looks, it looks cool. So, there's not really much to say about it. We can. So with this map building prefabs. So this is the demo level. And then we've got the prefab buildings that you can just rip directly. So it's not modular. These are prefabs. And then we've got what is probably in showcase is all the other stuff as well. Yeah, there we go. So all our little road networks and some of the more modern. Now this is also prefab. Uh, some of the more modular bits, but you can't split the walls. I'm not sure I'm a I'm not sure I'm a massive fan of that. Uh, but it's free, and if it's free, it's for me. Interaction system isn't actually uh, available for 5.5 out of the box, but that's fine. I'll show you how to get it into 5.5. So come to your vault, click Add to Project, click Show All Projects, and find your 5.5 example of a project. And you can just select the version 5.4 and click Add to Project, and it will add it to the project as well. You might need to click Show All Projects, but that will add it to the project, and it will be... There's a folder called Interaction Manager. Right, so now we'll quickly show the actual interaction system in the examples. So where are you? Here we have the demo room. And here we have the different sorts of interactions. So I've got a tap interaction. And I can already see... So there we go. Turns from red to green. Different buttons. So I could go like that. And then like that. And now, see, there's a bug in this thing. So I think I've got a fix for that. But we can see in the corner. It keeps going. Here's the hold one. So press E, you hold it. And it completes. It doesn't show you any. It does show you some progress there. But it completes like that. And you can see that bug is quite annoying. Here we have a repeat action. So we press it 10 times. If I let go, then it goes down. If I continue pressing it, it goes and does its interaction thing. Just like that. And here we have a wheel. 
So we will hold E, and it will do its thing. We'll just let go just to test it. And it drops it back down. We'll hold it, and it lets it go all the way there. We're going to come into our game animation sample level. So we're going to come back default level. And we're going to need some items. Any item will do just for this purpose. So weapons. And I've just made a blueprint. So I've right clicked blueprint class actor. And that's it. All I've done is add a static mesh and a scene component. This scene component is actually quite important. And then because we're in the gasp animation sample. I need to come to this PC sandbox. I need to add this manager interactor component at the top. So just click add interaction manager interactor. And then on the right, so select it. And in the details, you'll see interaction input action. Okay. But you need to change this to the interact you'll see that there's an input action interaction. And if we check the path, then that's from the interaction manager plugin. We just want the one that's already inside of 5.5 .5 or the one that you're using yourself for interact. And that is that. So back to our sword. We need to add our manager interaction target. So again, add interaction target just there. And then we need to select it and come over to the side. So if we enable debug, then we can see that it gets the spears that we need. So then we come back, we're going to start with marker settings. So the marker component is the scene and that is the bit that comes up and displays your interaction status. So the triangle bit is just a little bit at the top. Let's see if I can open. Let's open up this widget and show you. So in content interaction manager, user interface interaction. So this is the triangle, a very original name, but that is what it is. And that's if you want to display that. So that's good for sort of progress bars, moving around and stuff. So mine's just going to be a tap, so I don't need that. So there's no need to display progress because we're just doing a tap. No need to display triangles doing a tap. This flash POI icon, I can show you that. That's where it flashes like this to say something is there. It's like that on your screen. It's quite distracting. So I've turned mine off. And then flash target icon is when we are trying to interact with it. You see, again, just like that. So then we go back to BP Sword. So I turn those off, turn those off. I don't need those. We rotate interaction icon. So that is where it follows you around. So it's always sort of on your screen. So we kind of want that. And then the target icon is the color. So if I just change that to red and come out and back in again. You can see that the icon now has changed. Now you can have different icons for food or for... This is the POI icon colors. This is the green circle. And then these are the backgrounds and the foregrounds. And these are your icons. So you can use a material. You can set this to none so there's no uh, icon. So there's not this above it. Or you can use a texture. So I just grabbed a default one. Uh, and you can use the material as texture. So this will overwrite this if you select this. Okay, and the same for POI, the circle is quite nice, and the interaction icon background again, the circle is decent enough, and the foreground is just a circle again. What you need to type in to outline is whatever you want to be outlined. So I've chosen static mesh because I want it to be around the whole sword, but if you wanted to outline something else, then you can do that's not a problem. And it tells you what color you want to highlight it. So I might highlight mine purple. I start here. Nice little purple outline. Go back to sword. Then we've got our interaction settings. So you've got the different texts waiting, interacting, done. So it's the different sort of statuses. You put them on the scene. That's why the scene's important. And then we've got the type. So tap, hold, repeat. And you can just select which ones it are. It's all network replicated. So it'll work in multiplayer. I'm not 
going through multiplayer here. And then you've got the hold seconds. So how long it takes to hold two seconds, how many times you need to repeat it, and then the cooldown for repeat. You can turn that on and off. So if you want to press once and it not to decrease, you turn it off. And if you want it to press and keep, and you keep it on. You can display the interaction key. So if you turn it off, then E won't be displayed, or you can use custom keys. So if you want to use custom key, then you would just say put I. So you would keep both of them ticked. And then when you come in, it'll give you a different layer to press. So now I'm pressing I and I'm not doing anything. So press G and it comes up with what I need it to come up with. So I'm just going to revert this back because I don't need this. And then I'm finished. What do you want to do once you've finished interacting with the thing? So you can destroy it on completed. So for a pickup system, I would destroy it on completed. Uh, you destroy it on cancelled. So if you stopped before you picked it up, uh, destroy it on completed or cancelled. That's fine too. Uh, reactivate after duration on completed. And all of these sort of options, deactivate on cancelled, deactivate on completed, etc, etc. Okay. It will tell you how long the reactivation is as well. So reactivation duration on there. Now I've done a very quick and dirty uh, pickup system. So on interaction begin, uh, I could even do it on interaction end and get the result. So if the result is completed on interaction end, then I can do this and we, this should be an interface, but I've just done it as a cast for now, but you should use an interface, but a cast is quicker for this purpose that I need. And then we'll call interact and all is inside the blueprint for interact is interact just gives me a print string okay so this is not an inventory system it's an interaction system just get rid of on begin because we want it on end we want it to be uncompleted so then we'll press e i've got item picked up and we've still got this green circle here now that's number one because it started inside the circle and number two because on certain interactions it doesn't work as intended so what we should do is go to manager interaction target uh, when we apply finish method and we want to get each of the widget pools and remove from the parents just like that so now i want to interact it all disappears it doesn't come back up on the screen which is useful so <laughs> that's how to add the event and how to use it you can use it for different sort of things. Um, so if I had, uh, where are we? On interaction updated. So I'll just get this connect this for a second. And we will, uh, we'll just loop. And we will set that to, set that to rotation. Make a rotator. Uh, 90. And we'll just change this now to a press and hold. So hold. So if I want to see the progress of the bar, we can do display progress. We can display triangle as well so we know whereabouts the progress is coming and we can see that it is updating and when it turns to red the full red then that will stop that and instead of it being uh, on interaction end so the finish method Instead of destroy uncompleted, we will reactivate uh, or deactivate uncompleted. So deactivate uncompleted, and that's it. So that's my fix from me to you as a nice person. Uh, we probably need to multiply that across here. So we don't want it on pending. We just want it on deactivated and on destroyed. We 
one, two, yeah, we just want it on uh, destroyed and deactivated. So not on pending. But there we go. And that is how to add that to your projects. So each of your things would have a on interaction updated or on interaction end. Uh, and then they would do something. So you would add them to an inventory or just run the code here. So here's my interact event. And here's just a rotation as if it, as if it was a door. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you very much.